Hello learners, my name is Vinita Dhawan. Today we will study about learning beyond the textbook. As you all know that this is a chapter of unit 6. In the previous chapter we have studied about the textbook as a TLM. TLM means teaching learning material. We all know that textbooks are very helpful for the students. But uh, is the learning beyond the textbooks is uh, possible? The answer will be yes. But before going deep into this topic, first I will tell you what is the benefit of textbook for the students. This is some previous knowledge. How the textbooks are useful for students? We can say textbooks are the main source of teaching and learning. A lot of scope for students and teachers to do lot of learning activities means students and teacher can do lot of learning activities with the help of textbooks. Concepts in the textbooks are presented with variety of activities like story, picture, puzzles, discussion, etc. More innovative practice activities are given to do in the textbooks. Textbooks are detailed sequence of teaching procedures that tell you about what to do and when to do. A textbook series provides you with a balanced chronological presentation of information and the textbook provides organized units of work. This was all about the textbooks, how these are useful for students. Now if we come to our topic, the topic is learning beyond the textbooks. If we say is the learning possible beyond the textbooks, my answer will be yes. And why the learning is possible beyond the textbooks? It means we can say then that there will be some shortcomings for the textbooks or there will be some limitations of the textbook. That's why the learning is possible beyond the textbooks. So some shortcomings or uh, limitations we can say what can be these limitations of textbooks like first is all the curriculum experiences cannot be given within the limited space of textbook. Sometimes textbook promote the rote learning. The third we can say these are designed to be the sole source of information. The fourth limitation we can say they may not reflect student need as these are written for the global market. These are expensive and these are too inflexible and reflect the pedagogic, psychological and linguistic preferences and biases of author. If we talk about the learning resources beyond the textbooks now, we have studied that what are the limitations and shortcomings of textbook. Now if we say how the learning is possible beyond the textbook, so there are six learning resources which I will tell you today. What are these learning resources beyond the textbooks? The first is library. The second is newspapers, the third is electronic media, the fourth is activities in and out of the school, the fifth is visiting local institutions and the last sixth one is visiting local market and working places. Now we will talk about all these resources one by one in detail. First we will talk about the library, how the library is a learning resource. A library we can say library is a learning resource center. Why it is a learning resource center? We can say that there is a strong connection between learning resources and the methods. Libraries are accurately planned and they play a role to achieve the methods and its purpose. The books and the printed material is not become only information resource. Means the books are not enough to get the information only. Uh, library provides the advanced learning experiences to students as well as to teachers. These centers or these resource centers concentrate on amalgamation of resources, ICT with education practice inside the centers. Means we can say the library provides the amalgamation of various resources and ICT, ICT is information and communication technology is also provided inside these centers. The other reasons which can be library as a resource center, development of education theories, self-learning, Learner as an access of education process, teacher as a leader and facilitator of learning process. If we go in detail about these points, we can say that self-learning is possible when student is not having only one book, he have the lot of books and that is possible only in the library. If we say about the teacher as a leader and facilitator of learning process, as we all know that in today's life, teacher only supports you, he act as a facilitator of learning process. He can proceed you, but a student will get the information himself. Now if we talk about the various activities which can be done in the library, there are seven activities which can be done in the library. 
these are reading activities learning activities educational activities information search cultural activities cooperative activities administrative activities and the last seventh one is social activities means we will study about all the activities one by one activities done in the learning resource center these can be first is reading activity what is the reading activity reading activities are those activities which develop the reading habits among the students and it is only possible with the library if you talk about the second type of activity library activity that is the learning activity these activities are done by students depending on himself to support his learning if student wants to learn something then this is his learning activity he can go to the library and learn the things if you talk about the third activities which is done in the library is educational activities these activities are done by the teacher to support learning the fourth is information search we can say in this the search on the internet and using references the fifth is cultural activities somewhere cultural activities are also performed in the library means activities done by students to improve his cultural level and somewhat there can be school radio seminars lectures and competitions the library is helpful in all these activities now the fifth is cooperative activities what are these cooperative activities these activities are done by students to help the center to achieve its aim as a center group if we talk about the next activity that is the social activity the aim is community service like anti terror activity and anti smoking activity means if you want to perform these kinds of activity which is giving the community service we can paste uh, the posters around the library then we can go for this community service we can make the students aware about these activities now the next and the last is administrative activities what are these administrative activities which can be done with the help of library activities occupy centers with waiting lessons school meetings and educational coordinators meeting means we can occupy the centers with the school meetings school meetings can be conducted there in the library educational coordinators meeting can be also conducted in the library so these were the seven activities which can be done in the library now if we talk about the second learning resource that was the first library was the first learning resource now the newspaper newspaper as a reading resource how newspaper is a reading resource we can say in this that children learn about the current happenings we learn about the current happenings with the help of newspaper learning about the geography social issues history sports politics money technology all these fields can be learned from the newspapers reading and learning new vocabulary this can also be done with the help of newspaper newspaper are living text books for the teachers we can encourage critical thinking of the students with the help of newspaper we are talking here that newspaper as a reading resource use used to teach various skills and ideas newspaper can be used to teach various skills and ideas to students and the last we can say it expands the curriculum with unlimited amount of information we can expand a teacher can expand the curriculum with unlimited amount of information with the help of newspaper now we have already talked about the activities done in the library now for the newspaper what activities we can perform with the help of newspaper that would be useful for the students now there are six activities which you can perform with the help of newspaper first is newspaper puzzle second in my opinion the third is caption action the fourth is comic books the fifth is headline scrabble and the sixth last is take my advice now we will talk about all these activities in detail first is newspaper puzzle what is this newspaper puzzle news in the newspaper puzzle what we do we when we read the newspaper we find some event or some news very interesting then what you can do with that news you can cut the paragraphs of that news into pieces and you can hand over these without caption you will cut the news and those paragraphs you will give to your children then what they will do the children will arrange these paragraphs into the sequence to prepare again the same article this activity we can do with the newspaper puzzle in my opinion this is the second activity which we can do with the help of newspaper what is in my opinion 
you have seen uh, in the newspaper the opinion column or we can say there is some article or event in the newspaper in which some facts are given and some opinions are given. You can give highlighter, two highlighter to the students, one of a different color and one of different color. Then you can ask your students to highlight with one highlighter the opinion of the people and with the second highlighter the facts of the people given by the people. Now what the student will do? They will highlight the, these things. Now in the end what they will do? What they will see? They will see that framing for the same fact people form different opinion. A student will observe these. So it is very useful for student. He, he will see that some people give their opinion on the basis of facts but some people give their opinion just for the sake of giving opinion. Now the third activity which they can do with the help of newspaper is caption action. In this what we do? We cut the pictures from the newspaper and then we give those pictures to the students. They write the caption for those pictures, means caption is not given to the students. They will see the picture and they will frame their own caption for that picture. Now the fourth activity which we, we can do with the help of newspaper is comic books. We see there is one comic section in the newspaper. In the comic section, student of the young age, they cannot understand the conversation of the, those cartoon character. What the student can do? They can cut those cartoon characters from the newspaper, they can prepare their own books and they can paste their cartoon, their cartoon character in that particular book and they will write their own conversation for those cartoon characters. So this is a very interesting activity for the primary students. Now if you go about the next activity which we can do with the help of newspaper that is the headline scrabble. What is that headline scrabble? As the name suggests, headline scrabble. We will give the students the headline. Headline means we can give them words, they will cut the words of headline and they will cut the alphabets, even alphabets from those headline. They can form new headline from those words and those alphabets. So it is also a very interesting activity. Now the last activity is take my advice. What we do in this activity? There is column, there is one column in the newspaper where some people give their problems and the advice is given to them. You can read that column with your children. And you can ask your children that they can give their advice for that particular problem. So it is also a very interesting activity for the students. So these six types of activities we can do with the help of newspaper. Now the third is electronic media. Now how the electronic media is learning beyond the textbook is as a electronic media as a resource learning beyond the textbook. There are different types of electronic media. These are television, radio, internet, smartphones, CDs on various educational themes. Means five electronic medias we have. We learn or students learn with the, with the help of these medias. We will discuss about these medias one by one. How the learning is possible with all these medias. If we talk about the first that is television as an electronic media. How this is helpful in education of students. You can say television is an audio visual media of communication. It offers a window to the outside world. Among all the mass media, television attracts the large number of viewers. It is the most popular and has the greatest potential. This is because it is able to attract the audience of all age group, literate and illiterate and all of the levels of the society. If we talk about the what are the objectives that can be achieved through the television, there can be some objectives which we can achieve with the help of the television. Social quality in education means it enhances the quality in education. Television brings the quality in education because it's an audiovisual aid. Students understand the things better. It reduces the dependency on verbal teaching and teachers. Means we are not only depend upon our teachers. So it reduces the dependency. We can see the television or educational programs on the television and we can learn the things. So there is no dependency on teachers. Now the fourth is, it provides flexibility of time and space in learning. A student can learn according to his own time and space. So there is flexibility of time. But the teacher, he or she will teach in you in the classroom only. About the, if we say the next objective, it stimulates learning. And the last is, it provides the mass education opportunities. Really, it provides the mass education opportunities. 
Now, if we talk about the channels which are used for the purpose of education, these channels can be Discovery Kids, as we all know, Discovery Science, History Channel, National Geography Channels. These are channels which are used for the purpose of education. Or here we can say these are the channels which provide education plus entertainment. That is called the edutainment. The word is edutainment, which is provided by the television. So this was all about the television. How we can learn the things from the television? How the learning is possible with the help of television? Now, if we talk about the next electronic media, that is radio. How the radio is helpful in learning, or how the radio is a learning resource. A radio is an electronic media that facilitates four things. First is quantitative expansion and qualitative improvement of education. That second is fostering the sense of national integration and international understanding. The third is entertainment and the fourth is vocational education. We will talk about all these points one by one. The first is quantitative expansion and qualitative improvement of education. How the radio provides the quantitative expansion? In this we can say in our country there are some areas where the education is inaccessible. Means the disadvantaged children they can get the education with the help of radio. If you talk about the qualitative improvement of education, as we all know that the traditional methods or formal methods are now outdated. Something new should be there, some standard should be there. If you talk about the alternative medias there, then we can talk about the radio. It brings a qualitative improvement in education. If you talk about the second, that is a fostering the sense of national integration and international understanding, the radio fosters the sense of unity and integrity among the people, how it is possible. On the radio, various debates and talk shows etc. and cultural programs are broadcast. There students learn about the culture and customs of different people. So it develops the sense of unity and understanding of the other people. Now if we talk about the third that is entertainment, how radio is a media for entertainment. In this we can say radio is a means of entertainment. We can listen songs, songs, folk songs, etc. and other cultural programs on the radio. And sometimes radio also tell you about your hobbies. What hobbies you can do in your leisure time. Now the fourth point is vocational education. The radio can provide you the vocational education. Vocational education means the students come to know about the self-employment courses and uh, uh, lectures by skilled people, they can also listen to the lectures by the skilled people. So all this is about the vocational education. So radio is very helpful in providing the vocational education to the students. Now the fourth one is internet. If we talk about the internet, the role, what is the role of internet in educational process? First we will talk about it. Internet is a medium which made the world a global village. Around the world, students are being globally connected with one another via internet. We have been seeing that large number of people depend on the internet to collect information, read news, play games and also for searching, process and business work. There are some activities which we can do with the help of internet. Earlier we have studied about the library activities, the newspaper activities. Now there are the activities which we can do with the help of internet. These activities can be enhanced lesson, study and research, communication, accessibility, social networking, online learning, shopping, information, streaming videos, blogs, email etc. If you talk about one by one about these activities, then we can say that enhanced lesson with the help of internet we can get lot and lot of information for our lessons. In the textbook we will get only one lesson and limited text but with the help of internet we can enrich our lesson. Study and research what this activity is we can study we can research we can take a lot of information if we are going to research something. If we talk about the social networking social networking means people can or students can talk to each other with the help of social networking. Some social networking sites which are available on internet are LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter these are the social networking site which sites where the students or the people can communicate with each other very easily. Online learning is possible with the help of internet. Shopping, shopping in the sense we can say the books you can purchase from the internet. There are some sites 
on the internet from where the teachers can purchase the books if the teacher have no time to buy those books then he can shop he can make the shopping of those books online with the help of internet other information if you want to search you can search from the internet streaming videos streaming videos means some science, science experiments virtual classroom these videos you can see on the internet if you talk about the blogs and email these are also very useful activity which we can do with the help of internet in the email as it is a very popular students and teachers both can do this activity St student can ask something the, he can email he or she can email the teacher and on the other side if the teacher want to say something to the student he can email the things to the student or parents can also be connected with the help of email blogs are also there where the teacher and student can exchange some information with the help of blogs if we talk about the smartphones and education this is the fourth electronic media how the smartphones can be used for the purpose of education we can say in this with the help of smartphones we can create short videos we can scan qr codes we can access an online dictionary we can collaborate and uh, share with padlet and twitter we can listen to podcast and read the news if we talk about these we can say the students with the help of smartphones they can create their short videos they can get their feedback themselves if if we prepare one video of ourselves then we can get some feedback that how we are performing the things in this way uh, we can create the short videos if we talk about the scan qr codes these qr codes are those with the help of which we can access the information very easily about any news or any event access online dictionary smartphones helps to access online dictionary if the student know how to uh, if a student know how to use the app of dictionary how to use the app of dictionary on the smartphone then you can see that his knowledge will be wonderful if he he use the dictionary online if you talk about the collaborate and share with padlet and twitter here also he can get various information from the twitter and padlet and if you talk about the listen to podcast and read the news this is for those children who want to learn outside the class now if we talk about the fifth electronic media that is the educational cds as a learning resource now it is so many series educational series are available for the students these series can be of different subjects english maths evs science etc how these are the learning resource it aims to support students through various learning activities students are able to explore and learn in an authentic environment means it support the students through various learning activities various learning activities are given in those series and students are able to explore and learn the authentic environment they see the authentic environment in those series they can construct knowledge and skills student after seeing that cd they can construct their own knowledge at the same time it arouses their curiosity towards the natural world series when the students see the cd it arouses their interest and they feel themselves in the natural world series provide the overall good experience to the students in series there is given graphical presentation and illustration so student can enjoy those graphical presentation and illustration practice session practice session has also given practice session using the tool can enhance their knowledge on various topics if we talk about the other things uh, other learning resources we can do activities in and out of the school there are some activities which a student can do in and out of the school as a learning resource observing different in this what we can include observing different objects and phenomena planning and raising school garden maintaining clean toilets and toilet habits cleaning and beautification of classroom and school arranging different cultural functions visiting local market and working places this can also be a learning resource beyond the textbook if we say beyond the textbook we can say the children can visit the different working places like farms blacksmith woodwork polluteri fishery in this what will happen the student will feel the real life experiences how these people work there so visiting to the local market and working places now the last is visiting local institution how the learning is possible with the help of lo visiting local institutions you can take your students to the post office local institutions can be post office bank police station bus stand railway station business and industrial organization you can take your children to the post office banks 
police station, bus stand, railway station means there they will see how the people work and they will get the real life experiences. So this was all about the learning beyond the textbooks. Thank you.